Pyongyang dismantling its key missile test site is a move welcomed by the U.S., of course. But some watchers speculate the regime could be using this gesture as leverage in pressing Washington to take action on a peace treaty. Wu Zhenghe explains further. Is Pyongyang wanting a reward in exchange for dismantling its key missile test site? U.S.-based North Korea monitoring website 38 North reported on Monday that Pyongyang started to dismantle key facilities at its western Sohe satellite launching station. President Trump welcomed the move and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said North Korea is keeping the promise made at the Singapore summit last month. But amid the positive assessment, there is speculation that North Korea could be making such a move in order to get something in return, a declaration of a formal end to the Korean War. For the past few days, reports coming out of North Korea have been saying that an official end has to be declared to the Korean War. On Wednesday, the North's state-run newspaper, Nodong Shinmun, claimed making such declaration is a historic task that can't be delayed any further. And the day before, the state-run Korean Central News Agency stressed peace will begin only when the two Koreas declare an end to the Korean War and that it's regrettable the matter has not been resolved yet. The North's media have also pressed South Korea to be more involved. Pyongyang wants the war to end as it gives the regime a security guarantee. But Washington wants to be more prudent. It needs to make sure that North Korea abandons its nuclear weapons in the end. The United States wants to keep all options on the table so that even in the absence of the impact of economic sanctions, it can uh, continue to pressure North Korea for denuclearization. But once you declare the war is over, you can hardly justify your choice for military operation. As North Korea's recent action of dismantling its missile test site came along with its demands for a declaration of an end to the Korean War, it is possible Pyongyang is linking the two issues within the bigger framework of exchanging denuclearization for a security guarantee. It remains to be seen whether these demands will come up when the top diplomats of South and North Korea, as well as the U.S. and China, attend the ASEAN Regional Forum in Singapore next week. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.